Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me continue our chapter cat organic polymerization uh, with the part 2 session. Okay, now we look at the types of the monomer uh, which can be um, polymerized via kinetic polymerization. We have uh, aliphatic monomers okay, in the list here. We have the aromatic monomer and also the vinyl ether which is the particularly reactive okay and the monomer must have the electron donating group substituent for example in this structure ch2 double bond chr r is the electron donating group and edg we donate the electron density from the conjugated which is the pi system making it more nucleophilic so uh the top of the list here is the vinyl ether which is the protect uh, particularly reactive and very strongly active and this one is a very uh, weakly activating containing the aliphatic monomers and also the aromatic monomers the aliphatic monomers on the isobutylene provide the requisite carbocation stability for cationic polymerization and for the aromatic uh, monomer we have a uh, reactivity which is para substituted it has the para or ortho substituent retard the addition the addition which is promoted the steric hindrance or the movement of the uh, structure and we have the electron donating which is uh, OCH3 more electron donating than CH3 and the, the right side is more to the electron withdrawing and the reactivity of the monomer will increase with their nucleophilicity which is styrene is less reactive than alpha methylene styrene which is methylene styrene is less reactive than 4 methyl cystyrene and the last one is the vinyl ether, which is the most uh, reactive uh, monomer. This one is the list of the monomer that can be polymerized chemically. We have isobutylene, styrene, vinyl, methyl ether. Okay, now we look at the mechanism of the chemical polymerization. So it involves initiation, propagation, and termination. So for the initiation formation of the active center, which is uh, the carbocation, okay, um, which has the the positively charged, and the addition of the monomer to the active center follows markov nikov rule. During the propagation, the addition of the active center to another monomer also follows the markov nikov rule via electrophilic addition to the monomer and the last step is the termination and it is the combination of chain n with the counter ion and termination also happens um, between uh, via chain transfer hydride shift and ion splitting impurities or terminating agent and no termination will can it can lead to the leaving polymerization polymer. Now we look at the Markov Nikov rule. Though so the Markov Nikov rule is the the uh, the mechanism okay uh, in the cationic polymerization. It is the addition of electrophile to monomer follow the Markov Nikov rule by using the electrophile which is E. Uh, e adds to the carbon of the alkene that has the greater number of hydrogen substituent. So, for example, uh, we can see in the structure. Uh, so we have the the electron here. Uh, we have um, carbon carbon double bond. Okay, this carbon carbon double bond will be attracted to the cation, which is the positively charged proton. And it will lift the carbon-carbon double bond to form a single bond with the initiator. And this leaves one of the former double bond and lost for electron and carry a positively charge. And it will form a new uh, cation that will react with a second monomer in the same manner as the initiator reacted with the first monomer molecule. 
and this will happen uh, over and over until high molecular weight is re uh, is uh, reached. Okay, so the product will form a, a first degree of carbocation and second degree of carbocation. Okay, now uh, we look at the example of the ALCl3, um, the formation of the ALCl3 with the H2 H2O. Okay, this one is the step of the dissociation process. Okay. Okay, during the initiation process, we have the dissociation first. Okay, so uh, this one is the types of the initiator and with the presence of the water. So it, it will be turned into HOALCL3 minus with the H plus. You can also write uh, the product like this which is uh, you write down the um, the initiator first ALCL3 and OH together with the bracket and the minus together with the H plus it is the, it is the same but um, either which ways you want you prefer to use is okay but I prefer to use this this one okay easier for me because uh, it has the um, the step for you so not not to be uh, confused okay now we proceed with the example of the polymerization of styrene by using boron trifluoride as the initiator first look at the insertion process which is the dissociation step formation of the active center which is a bf3 will be reacted with the co-catalyst which is water and it will form um, bf3 oh minus uh, plus the proton and during the initiation process which is the association okay uh, this bf3 oh uh, minus together with the h plus this is the same um, product okay you can uh, write either in this form or this form so i prefer this this form okay it will be uh, reacted with the styrene structure and how to draw the product so you need to uh, uh, because of the proton attack the monomer so the proton will uh, the H hydrogen proton here will be transferred to the hydrogen uh, into the carbon into the hydrogen at the uh, carbon carbon double bond here so it will left with the presence of the saturated bond and the presence of CH3 here okay so CH3 single bond C H styrene structure and uh, positive charge because it lost of the uh, electron and don't forget to write BF3 OH minus okay this is the step of association now we look at the step in the propagation the propagation reaction in the styrene BF3 water system is through repeated addition of the monomer. So in the second step, you just need to copy down the structure from here, CH3, CBF3, OH, and then it will be reacted with uh, monomer again. Okay, and the structure, uh, the product during the propagation uh, step, you just need to copy down the structure. CH3, CH, BF, BF3, OH, okay, CH3, CH, CH2. So you just copy uh, CH3, CH plus here, okay. What copy just CH3, CH, okay, plus ni tak payah lagi. So uh, this structure is the monomer structure ni. Awak salin balik monomer structure yang ni tapi tak, tak ada double bond lah. Okay, tinggalkan double bond dia. CH2, CH and because it propagate more so you put the N here and then uh, continue with uh, CH2, CH again but with the present of the uh, H plus okay salin bali and then BF3 OH ni you put at the end of the structure okay, that, that is the way you write the propagating uh, uh, structure propagating species structure
And during the termination, we have a termination by unimolecular and by chain transfer. So, for example, we look at the uh, chain transfer first. Okay, uh, in termination step, this one at the top is the, uh, the above structure is the uh, product from the propagation species. Now, just copy down the structure from propagation step. And then, this one is the product uh, of the termination. You just copy CH3, CH, CH2, CH, CH. Uh, this hydrogen, um, one of the hydrogen here will be formed into the double bond here. And it will be presence of the double bond structure of the product together with the CH3, CH. Together with the benzene ring, uh, positive charge plus BF3OH. Okay. This one is the product during the termination step. Now we look at the second example in polymerization of isobutylene by using ALCL3 as the initiator. And we, uh, during the dissociation step, we can see that the presence of the water act as the co-catalyst and ALCL3 uh, attached to it is the uh, H2O. The aluminium atom in ALCL3 is sharing electron pairs with only three other at atom contain six electron and the oxygen atom in water has two unshared pair of electron and it donates a pair to the aluminium atom forming ALCL3 and H2O complex and this double bond will attach the proton and left the positively charged here together with the negatively aluminium trichloride and OH minus. The monomer can extract the hydrogen making itself a cation and the ALCL3 H2O complex become its counter ion. So this one is the roughly um, I draw so that you can easily understand. The, the, the above structure here is the dissociation step of the first process. ALCL3 will be reacted with water uh, and it will form the H plus plus ALCL3 OH minus. So don't forget to to you to, to uh, draw the negative and positively charge. Okay? And you just copy down this structure uh, right here and it will be reacted with the monomer. And what you need to do, just copy the structure of monomer first, CH2, and it will become CH3 because the double bond uh, is shifted and uh, we left the positive charge means that electron has been uh, lost. Okay. And CH3 dash C, CH3, CH3, and don't forget to uh, write the um, negative negative charge here, ALCL3, OH. Okay. This one is the initiation step and the above one is the dissociation, dissociation step. During the propagation reaction, uh, this uh, initiation product will be reacted with the other monomer again. And what you need to do, you just copy the front structure first CH3, CH3, CH3 and then followed by the second structure which is the monomer without the presence of the double bond. You left the presence of the double bond, left it as a single bond together with the positive charge. And then uh, it will react with another monomer again and again until you write it to become the N. Okay. N number of uh, propagating units. Okay. And uh, CH3, 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 and uh, together with the BF3, OH minus. This one is the product during the, the propagation. And we look at the termination. Okay, during the termination process, okay, you can look at by yourself. This one is the by chain transfer, the below one, and the above is the by unimolecular. 
The base, base dia dekat sini je. Dia ada yang ni. CH3, CH. Yang lain semua sama. 